Wait, is this thing actually working? Yeah, it's on. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel once again. Kenroy here. Thank you so much for stopping by once again. Now in this week's video, I'm actually just gonna pause a moment, just take things slowly and actually look back on some of the goals that I had at the beginning of this year. Now if you can remember, at the beginning of this year, I actually did a five goals that I hope to achieve and I'm just going to pause a moment to see how I've actually gotten on so far. At the time of recording this video, we've just gone past halfway through the year. Now I thought it would be a great idea for me to just stop and evaluate um, how uh, my goals and actually you know, some of the things that I hope to achieve, how I've been doing so far. And that's what I'm going to be doing in today's video. Now as you can see guys, I'm actually wearing a nice summer t-shirt today in the hopes that we'll actually get some sunshine here in the UK. The weather hasn't been particularly good um, where we live, I don't know about where you are, but we've been getting a ton of rain, which obviously isn't what we want in the middle of summer. But nonetheless, we've got to keep positive and keep pushing through. So with any luck, my shirt might encourage the sun to come out and shine for us. Another thing that is new is I'm actually using a new camera now. Guys, I don't know if you can notice the difference here, so I'd love to hear in the comments below, what do you think about the new camera? Is it any good? Um, does the picture quality look better? For the longest time, I always wanted one of these cameras and you know, I just couldn't justify spending so much money on this camera. I mean, brand new from most retailers, this camera goes for around 1,050 pounds with the kit lens. And I just found it difficult, I'm not gonna lie, you know, if you know me, you know I hate spending money unnecessarily, especially when I'm saving to try and buy our first investment property. But um, it was recently my wife and I's ninth year anniversary, so she decided to get me this camera as a gift, and I can't believe it because it's something that I've always wanted. I'm not gonna bore you with all of its technicalities, but it's a Canon M6 Mark II. So it's a mirrorless camera, which basically means it's uh, nice and modern and compact, and hopefully, and I'm hoping that, you know, you know, you guys can see the crispiness on here. Um, only time will tell anyway. I'm a complete novice at this, so I'm learning as I go along. This is the first video that I'm actually gonna film for the YouTube channel. So let me know what you think about the picture quality, guys. I would really appreciate some feedback. Now, of course, you know, I never spend full price on something unless I absolutely have to. And I was able to pick up this camera at a bargain price, but I put the link to the website below. Now, if you're new to this channel, guys, welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by. And if you haven't subscribed already, I don't know what you're waiting for, but now is the time to do so. Now on this channel, I talk about all things um, related to personal finance, um, property, and also with some DIY mixed in. Now, one of my main goal is to try and encourage you as an individual to try and set yourself goals, long-term goals, that will be able to help benefit you and your family. Um, like for myself and my family, um, we'd love to be able to have a certain lifestyle that would mean that we could retire early, my wife and I, you know, set up something nice for the children and basically build a legacy that they can inherit. Because of course, we all gotta get old someday. So we really would like to better the life that we are giving to our children, as well as give ourselves the flexibility to be able to spend as much time with them as possible. So if this is something that you guys are interested in, don't forget to subscribe as well as like this video. Turns out that the more likes a video get, the better it will do on the YouTube algorithm, whatever that means. But other people say it, so it must be true. So please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to this channel. So that's enough rambling on from me, guys. Let's talk about why we're here today, and that's basically to see whether or not I've been able to achieve any of the goals that I've set at the beginning of the year. So one of my first goals that I actually wanted to try and achieve for this year, 2021, is to be consistent in everything that I do. Um, this can range from my family life, um, you know, my work-life balance, even in the approach of my multiple streams of income, even in things such as listing items on eBay, making sure that anything that I've sold online gets posted out on time. Even spending time with my family, I want to be consistent and I don't want to have any regrets. And so far, I must say that this has been going really, really well. One of the main things that I didn't want to procrastinate on and I wanted to be 100% committed and, and make sure that I've stayed consistent throughout was actually posting one video every week on YouTube and so far it has been a success. Hopefully by the end of the year, I'll be able to say that this is a goal that I've definitely achieved, um, but so far so good guys. So the next one guys that I'm gonna be looking at is growing my network. This was one of my goals 
goals that I set at the beginning of this year and I just wanted to just recap like I said to see how it's been going. Now I must say I've definitely met a lot more people um, in terms of networking. The pandemic has put a bit of a damper on it. Um, you know, having a young family as well has kind of made that a bit more tricky. However, I've certainly made some new links with different individuals such as um, an architect that I've recently gotten in touch with, a couple of local estate agents that I've been speaking with, and also people on YouTube, you know, a lot of people on the social media websites, you know, I've been getting in touch with, getting to know them a bit more. So I could definitely say that my networking has gotten better. Now, is it where I'd want it to be? Definitely not. However, you know, we're halfway through the year and nobody knows what the future may bring. But I do think that I can actually do a bit more here to try and make, you know, new acquaintances, um, speak to people within the, the property industry, for example. Now, hopefully what I'm planning on doing, and I still haven't been able to do this yet, is to have some form of collaboration with other YouTube content creators. I do think that this will be the next step that I need to take in order to, you know, build my network and actually um, link up with a lot of people who have similar interests. So um, I think that this one is a bit 50-50, um, there's still loads to do, but so far it's been going okay. So moving on to the next one and that was to set up a limited company. Uh, so I'm going to go out on a limb and say this one is a big fail. <laughs> because you can either set up a limited company or you don't and I actually haven't so far. Now there's a good reason for this. Now initially I wanted to actually buy a property this year with my wife. We were thinking of buying a property further north where the prices were a lot cheaper and again this was to be the first in a, you know hopefully a series of property that we'd like to purchase in order to set ourselves up for retirement. Um, we actually have some money saved up and you know we were thinking this year is going to be the year but you know a lot of factors such as the pandemic you know furlough scheme the stamp duty holiday for example has caused house prices to just go through the roof which is great if you're a seller not so much if you're a buyer so we've decided to postpone buying a property further north for now another reason why we haven't bought another property further north is because we actually you know reconsidered and we're thinking about trying to get something that's closer to home um, the other downside to that is that obviously it's more expensive However, we decided to just go back to the drawing board, continue saving and seeing what other options are available for us. So no guys, I haven't set up a limited company, but you know, like I said, that's because we haven't yet, you know, gone to the next stage of actually purchasing this first investment property. So I didn't see the point of actually setting up this company just yet. Um, because it will just be a bit of extra work and you know, I'm not actually ready to to buy another investment property yet So that's the reason why we haven't done so however It's still something that we're going to be doing in the future hopefully um, But for now, I think that this one is just gonna have to go on pause But that's okay things always change and you've got to be open and honest and you know be able to reevaluate your goals and you know move forward really so this moves us nicely into the next goal which we were trying to achieve this year and that is to secure enough funds to buy our property so I'm not sure if I should actually say that this one is a bit 50 50 or it's a straight fail because obviously um, you know we decided not to buy the property further north and realistically we would have been able to do so with the amount of money we've got saved up however since we decided not to and we are actually thinking about changing the area to which we're going to invest i'm not too sure of whether or not we've actually achieved this goal so far we were thinking in places such as nottingham or liverpool and so on we live in the west midlands so it wouldn't be too far but we've decided to reconsider so arguably we haven't got enough money at the moment to buy a property where we live so i suppose that's still ongoing and we're still saving now we haven't been able to save as much as we would like because uh, my wife has been on maternity leave for the past year and a bit don't worry guys i'm sending her back to work so we can get back on track um, so but in all seriousness she's been off so she can have some extra time with the family because i do think it's very important that in that first year that mom is around with baby for as long as possible um, so we made that conscious decision um, just as we did for my first daughter for my wife to be off work for a whole year which obviously has impacted how much we've been able to save but you know these are things that you have to think about when you've got a family and i've got no regrets over that so we're still saving and hopefully we'll get back on track 
and try and raise as much funds as possible um, so that we can make our dream a reality. The next one I can definitely say um, is a fail. I wanted to go out there and view as many properties as possible. I was gonna get in the car and drive up north for the weekend, for example. Any days off that I had, I was gonna be up there looking for bargain properties, you know, making some connections with estate agents, deal sources and people who are in that region to try and find a nice fixer up a below market value BMV. Once I then bought that property, I'll then renovate it in the hopes of renting it out, uh, you know, and have our first buy to let properties. But because of the pandemic and the fact that we've changed um, investment areas, you know, I haven't actually gone out to look at properties to buy. The only place I've actually had a look at properties to buy is on Rightmove and Zooplan, you know, and websites such as this, because at the moment we haven't got the exact amount of funds that we need. So um, I didn't push myself to go out, especially with this pandemic. I wanted to keep myself and my family safe and I didn't want to take any unnecessary risk to go and view properties in light of the fact that we wouldn't be buying um, at this moment. Last but not least, I put a wild card in at the beginning of the year saying that I was gonna actually buy my first investment property, but I'm sure you're aware by now, we haven't actually done this. <laughs> And that's okay. Um, I knew that it was a bit of a stretch, to be honest. Um, the likelihood of it happening was kind of slim. However, there was a possibility. But like I said, things change and our goals are now, you know, shifted slightly, which means that we haven't bought this property. But that's okay. And now we're going back to the drawing board. We're still saving and, you know, we're still positive and hoping that this will become a reality sooner, hopefully, rather than later. So even though, guys, I haven't achieved all of the goals that I've set out to so far, you can see where I have shifted some of these goalposts um, for, for different reasons, obviously. But nonetheless, it doesn't mean that I'm not still trying to achieve my goal of owning my first investment property. Now, my wife and I have been thinking and, you know, we've been thinking outside the box to think, OK, what is our goal? What is our dreams and aspirations? Now, my wife and I are actually after a certain lifestyle where we'll be able to generate enough income so that we can live a more comfortable life. Um, obviously have something for retirement so we could potentially retire early. Yeah, can you imagine actually retiring early? Who doesn't want to retire early? Um, I was speaking to someone recently and they said that they're coming close to retirement age but they don't actually know what they're going to do in retirement. <sighs> if only I could swap places, honestly. But on a serious note, it would be an incredible thing that if we can reach a certain stage in our life before the retirement age, where we could just jet off to places that we've always wanted to visit, you know, have a lot of free time on our hands because we will be retired with no more jobs to go to, but we'll still have a couple properties bringing in a monthly income that will basically pay for our lifestyle. And that is the dream. And to also have something that we can leave for our children when we're no longer here, because, you know, nobody's gonna live forever. We're all gonna get old and, you know, you know what's gonna happen, right? But in order to do that, we recognize that there's multiple ways in which you can get to that stage. You know, a lot of people have different ways of, you know, earning through different businesses and investments. And it got us thinking, we bought this property and we've done a really good job in adding value to it so far. But there's one area that's always been a contention and that's the garage that we have. Now, I still haven't done a house tour video, which will give you a better understanding of the layout of the garage. Uh, but again, it's in the pipeline guys, just been super busy. Um, so we've got this huge garage which leads into a utility room and attached to that utility room is a massive room which is basically the size of a double bedroom, um, which is our shed. It's got its own pitched roof and it's all one building and at the moment they're just used for storage, that's it. And so I'm thinking what can we actually do with this space. Now garages guys don't actually add a huge amount of value to your property. If we were to convert that garage into a living space, such as a bedroom or um, you know a living room or an annex or something, it would actually add value to our property. So you can probably guess what I'm thinking right now. What if we were actually able to convert this garage into an annex, a one bedroom annex where we could actually rent out per month to someone and this is currently my train of thought guys i've already contacted an estate agent they came and had a look at the place and i was really really surprised at how much they said this could potentially rent for if we were to do it to a decent standard um, as a standalone you know one bedroom annex 
to which somebody could actually rent. It's on the ground floor. They would have their own privacy with their own door for entrance. So, you know, this is something that I'm seriously, seriously considering. I've already spoken with an architect who have come and look at the property. Now, the only thing that I then need to figure out is whether or not we need planning permission for this as it's a pre-existing building and we'll hardly be changing anything exterior. Or, I'm really praying about this one. Honestly, this would be absolutely brilliant if we didn't have to go down the planning permission route and we could just use what they call permitted development That would be absolutely brilliant now Like I said, it's still early days and we're still looking at the figures But the way I see it if we invest this money into this property after around three to four years We should be able to recoup all the money that we invested in it So if you made it this far guys and you haven't subscribed, I have no idea what you're doing please don't forget to subscribe to this channel as well as hit that thumbs up guys. Apparently this does wonders for the YouTube algorithm, whatever that means, and it actually helps this video to be seen by more people. And hopefully this information will be beneficial to you and others. So I'm gonna leave the video here for today guys, but there's a couple of things that I'd love to get some feedback on. The first thing I'd like to know is what do you think about the new camera? I'd love to know how the picture quality from this new camera is guys. Um, I've invested a lot in it, so I'm hoping that it will be better than just using my phone because as much as I enjoyed using my phone it constantly overheated and there was all sorts of issues with it so um, I'm glad I was able to upgrade so let me know what you think about the new camera and secondly guys I'd love to know if you've actually done a similar project like this where you uh, converted a garage into an annex how did you find it or perhaps you're actually thinking about converting your garage into an annex i'd love to hear your thoughts down below i've tried searching on youtube for content around turning your garage into an annex um, you know in order to rent it out for an income but so far i haven't been able to find much on there so if you've had any experience please post in the comment down below as always guys thank you so much for joining me on my channel once again thank you for all your support guys and as always this is Ken Roy saying, I'll see you when you see me. Take care.